was that lady that played on Fargo, like the cop that played on Fargo, so I know it's her. Then I have Babe Special Edition and Miss Congeniality. I've never seen this movie, guys, Babe. <laughs> I've never seen it in my life. So. <laughs> then I have Bernie and Pleasantville. I like Mr. Ed, guys. I used to watch it. I mean, I'm 40 years old, okay? I used to watch this, like, in the 80s, 90s, like, when it used to come on Nickelodeon. I used to watch Mr. Ed. Then I have the Valorian, Valorian, and Pleasantville, guys. My husband got me this as a gift, the Valorian movie. Now, let me tell you something. I told, I said this on the last video that I made. That was a, um, one of these movies. Uh, one of these ASMRs, like, you know, they, the, doing the show and tell DVDs. But the story goes like this. My husband bought me this bottle, the movie Bill Valorian. We watched it one day from, like, Redbox or something like that. We watched it, and I didn't really like it that much. I was just like, well, to me, it was kind of boring, really. I got that, the main character just kind of annoyed me a lot. But... I like the little, the little alien named Da. That, that little alien was funny. And I said, oh, he's cute. I said, the Da is cute, the little alien. And my husband thought I, from that he took, that he, I loved the movie. So he goes out one day and buys the movie and comes home and surprises me with his gift. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I looked in there and their movie that I really didn't know care for was in there all wrapped and pretty and everything and I was like oh my god and he was like I know how much you love that movie Valorian so I went and bought it for you and I was like thank you babe <laughs> that's the story of that movie oh and then we have Critters the movies the Critters movies and um sorry guys Like, like Will Ferrell 
escape to Africa in the first Madagascar. I have a flushed away movie right here. Planet Earth, I have these on DVD because when they first came out, they came out on DVD and then the Blu-ray was introduced and I we went back and we bought them on Blu-ray. And then this is the Office Space movie and the Human Body. I've never watched the body one before so I need to I need to actually watch that one Despicable Me is funny I like that movie yeah that's another movie that I've watched a lot and I'm just like eh. okay and so now let's see Fool's Rush it is a funny movie I love that movie and The Great Gatsby I love The Great Gatsby what else here there's Mask Director's Cut with Remember that's with um there's a good like movie unless it's a sad movie, real sad movie. Um it has a uh, share in it. Make a mind. If you never watched Mask, I suggest you do. Because if you like to cry and you like sad movies, that's a sad one, but it's also a good one. Man on Fire is a sad movie. That's very, very um it's a thriller. It's action, so yeah. Avatar and X-Men. Ratitude, no wait, Ice Age, Continental Drift, and Rango. I haven't seen Rango in a long time. I should, I don't know. I haven't watched that one in a real long time. But this is one of my favorite movies, Meet the Robinsons. It's such a good movie. Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs is funny. Again, I've watched that one too many times, so it's just like, eh. Monsters and Aliens and the Muppets. That's a good movie. And the Jungle Book. The Big Year is good. Ender's Game and Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest came on today on the TV, so. Yeah, Ender's Game is good. I started reading the book. I didn't finish the book, but I started reading it. Open range is good. If you haven't seen Year of the Dog, you need to. Especially if, like if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, or like if you like some or, um like a pro animal, like animal life and stuff like that. You get involved in like stuff like that. You need to watch Year of the Dog. You won't regret it. Then I have Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Women. Steel Magnolias, which is a good movie. I can watch Steel Magnolias all the time. I don't have to tell. I'll watch it tomorrow while I'm doing some cleaning. Urban Cowboy. My husband hates that movie because he says John Travolta is no cowboy. My husband's a cowboy. Well, he does. He's never ridden a bull or anything like that or done. But he used to rope horses and stuff like that. So yeah, he's kind of like a cowboy. Um, to say he's a country boy. West Side Story. And then I have The Land Before Time, guys. The Land Before Time, remember? The, the sad part was Mom. America Tale is my, one of my favorite movies. And The Land Before Time. And then The Aristocats is one of my favorite movies. Little Women is also one of my favorite movies. Drop Dead Gorgeous is just really funny. Eight Seconds is a great movie. That's a sad movie, too, though. Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion is so funny. If you have never watched that movie, I suggest you watch it. True Grit. This is not... This is the original True Grit. This is not the new one. I don't like the new one. In fact, I hate the new one. Um, the old one with um, John Wayne is the one I love. Dr. Strangel, I've never seen this. This is or how I learned to stay, to stop worrying and love the bomb. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, that's a good movie. I'm going to take it out because I'm going to watch it tomorrow too. I think I watched Charlotte's Web because I've been watching. I've been reading that book and I still have one more chapter to go and I need to read it so that I can put a book. I can, um, also read books and I have a, a playlist for reading books. Rat Race right here. The new one. I'm going to put you know. Then these, okay these are just digital books. These right here I think. These right here are the last ones I have right here is Les, Les Miserables, X-Men, and what is
and Spider-Man 2. I have Star Trek right here. Valerian, which <laughs> did not like that movie. Inception 2012 and Rise of the Planet of the Apes right here. I still like 2012. I think that was one of the best. Um, no, wait, War of the Worlds. That's the one I think is one of the best, like, disaster movies. The 2012 and, um, I love, I like 2012 and, um, 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 War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. Pets and Pride and Prejudice, Little Fockers and Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp. Pride and Prejudice, the one I have is with, um, Kira Knightley, which is one of my favorite movies, but just, like, hands down one of my favorite movies. Little Fockers is funny. Life of Pets is okay. It wasn't, like, my favorite movie. I thought it was gonna be funnier and cuter, but, um, uh, it was But it's cute. The Lego movie. I like the Lego movie. I like the Lego Batman movie, no better. Ratatouille. I have Ratatouille right here. Walk the Line. The Phantom of the Popper, one of my favorite movies. Les Miserables. Um, it's kind of long. I like it. It was okay. It was good. It's really good if you like, like, singing movies and stuff like that. But it's just really long. Walk the Line and The Great Gatsby. I love The Great Gatsby. The Phantom of the Opera. Inception. And the Dark Knight, Batman Begins, and The Dark Knight Rises. So I have all three of these. Um, 
I saw it on here again and I was just like in tears. My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which is a great movie. I like this movie whenever I feel like I need to like feel good. It's a feel good movie. Planet 51 is a great movie. I need to get this on Blu-ray. That Winked is funny too. I like this movie. I need to get it on Blu-ray too. The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, Wild Hearts Can't 
Alicia Silverstone. I think that it's Alicia Silverstone, but this movie is funny. Zoolander and Chicken Run. Zoolander's funny. I did not want to watch the Zoolander 2 because I like the Zoolander 1 and I did not want to be disappointed in a, like, you know, a dud movie. So I was like, oh, I don't want to watch Zoolander 2 because I heard a lot of bad things about it, like that it was not funny and stuff like that. So I just decided not to watch it. Chicken Run is so funny. I love all these, like, Wallace and Gromit type movies. Okay, so let's keep going. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, My Girl, Oliver and Company, which is one of my favorite movies, Marvin's Room. This is a sad movie, guys. Marvin's Room with Leonardo DiCaprio. And, um, I want to say it was Glenn Close. No, not Glenn Close. Meryl Streep. It has Meryl Streep. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. And I forget the other lady's name. But it's a good movie, guys. Marvin's Room is sad. So is My Girl. The Aviator is a good um, movie. I love that movie. Anything with like Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be good for me. Alice in a Wonderland. This is the not the original one, which I wish I had. This is the Johnny Depp one, which is still good. I like that one. It's not like the, the one that you are thinking of, like the Walt Disney one. No, no, no. This is a different one. This is with Johnny Depp, so it's going to be weird. The Chronicles. No, wait. Vin Diesel. Riddick Trial Trilogy is a good movie. Just go with it. 
guys is so funny. This movie right here is really funny. Just go with it. And then the Billy, Billy Madison, Along Came Polly, Talladega Nights. So these are like great movies right here. Talladega Nights is a good movie. Um, it's funny. You got Will Ferrell and the other guy that Clay play, he plays on, um, what's that movie? Um, Step Brothers. Um, I don't have Step Brothers because that's a really 
version of Mickey Mouse, okay? They, they love Danger Mouse out there in Britain. And if you've never seen Danger Mouse, just Google it or look it up on YouTube. Okay, Danger Mouse episodes and you'll, you'll see why I love it. Then we have The Cold Member and The Spy Who Shagged Me, Austin Powers movies. This movie is a Johnson Family Vacation. I love this movie. Until he 
the name of that lady. Um, okay. Moving on. Looney Tunes. These are like classic Looney Tunes. Golden ones. I have yet to watch those. Open Water is very sad. It's about um, these two people, the couple that went swimming. I mean, went snorkeling and like they were they were having a troubled marriage or something like that. And they decided to go on a um, on a vacation. I don't know how much this is fiction or fault, you know, like just if it's fiction, how much is fiction, how much is real, I don't know, but I know that it is based off of a true story, but anyway, they were having troubles, they went on a vacation to like just get, just to relax and just kind of come together again, well, they went snorkeling and the people that they went on a boat did not see that they, that they, um, did not, they, they called everybody back into the boat to go back to, to shore and they did not see that they had missed them too in the boat. So they left them out there in the open waters and they were still snorkeling and stuff and then they realized, wait a minute, where's the boat? And they, the people did not realize that they had left them out there for like a day or something like that and it was just terrible, guys, terrible. So this is like their, it, they reimagined like what they went through. It's horrible, guys, horrible. Okay, Saving Private Ryan is one of the greatest war movies ever made. Grown Ups 2. Arthur. This is the, not the new Arthur. This is the one with Dudley Moore. And it's a good movie. I do not like that guy. Um, I don't like the way his acting is. The one, the new one that came out. Arthur. I don't like that one. A Knight's Tale is good. What is this movie right here? This is Tremors. And so is that one right there. To the right. That's Tremors. These are the whole complete Tremors movies. Kong Pao is a good movie. Enter the Fist. Puts in Boots. Um, Shaolin King. Shaolin Soccer. These are, these are in, um, this is a funny, like, Kong Pao movie. It's a funny movie, um, with subtitles. And this is subtitles, uh, I want to say Japanese subtitles. This is Rio 2 and Puss in Boots and The Terminal with Tom Hanks, Castaway and Road to Perdition. I love Road to Perdition, guys. I also love the soundtrack. There's Cowboys vs. Cowboys and Aliens. It's pretty good. Under the Tuscan Sun. I read the book, but I have not watched the movie. Artificial Intelligence AI. And Aquila and the Johnson Family Vacation. I'm gonna watch this movie. 